Hello, I'm Kevin from Crypto MY. In today's episode, let me share Cardano technical analysis based on my own opinion. So let's stay tuned. So this is Cardano chart. Why Cardano is because lately Cardano has a lot of recent big update, large update. So that's the reason why we should look into Cardano ecosystem right now. So before even I talk about this Cardano technical analysis, let me shout out for today big sponsor. Today big sponsor will be DeFi Lab. DeFi Lab is actually a DeFi staking. It's one of the hottest trend in the crypto industry today. Staking is still considered one of the best way to generate passive income. The concept of cryptocurrency staking has been around for a few years now. It's one of the powerful way of incentivizing users to hold on their crypto holdings. In return for doing that, these users will be able to receive staking rewards. Thus, compared to traditional saving accounts, return staking rewards are far more appealing. So this is DeFi Lab. DeFi Lab, uh, one of the main sponsors today, as you can see, where you can stake to earn USDT. Uh, there is the stake Cakes, you can stake BNB, there is stake USDT, there is stake BUSD, BDC, ETH. So when you stake all these tokens, you will able to get USDT with a high APY all the way to 400 over percent so when you talk about DeFi labs when you talk about staking platform make sure to be very careful on their security so how reliable it is according to coinscope they are already being audited in coinscope so whoever wants to read their report go ahead and look at the auditing report so the latest news about this DeFi lab is they are also certified and audited by Certic. So everybody knows what is Certic. Certic is actually a security auditing platform that helps to do security assessment. And you can see here DeFi lab has been done on this security assessment on Certic on the August 25th of 2022. So you are going to be very, very safe when you are investing or staking in DeFi Lab. If you guys want to know more about DeFi Lab, I will put down the link at the description below and also my referral link if you want to register an account. Okay, so let's get back to ADA versus USDT. So you can see on this chart right now for our time frame, this is actually a very bullish confirmation, I would say. The reason why if, if you look at the trend line, it has broke up below. So right now, this is actually, I would say, a ascending triangle and it broke right up here. So what you can see here, the reason why is because re recently Cardano has been very, very bullish in terms of the fundamental news, especially here where you can see ADA DeFi ecosystem has one of the major advantages over its competitor. Why? Because according to Anonymous, supporter of ADA, the largest proof of stake network ecosystem of decentralized finance DeFi protocol gains steam in more democratic and independent manner than the ecosystem of its competitor so the DeFi is building DeFi with no vc influence case of cardano you can see there's a lot of things even the debts family search day by day not just that i think the reason why because cardano has been going up lately is because of this ADA finally attached a date to Vessel upgrade 
fall. So this bear sale is actually the bear sale up fall. So you can see after so many months of speculations, Cardano bear sale upgrade date has been finally revealed. According to input output, the upgrade would happen in 22nd September. So this announcement come after the founder Charles Hutchinson on 26 August had said that the ADA team was waiting on exchange to have everything in order. With the development means all exchanges were now pulling the switch on the update So this is actually the input output Twitter where they actually confirm the date already. So you can see here according to the input and output this vessel upgrade would bring cheaper transaction and also increase in Cardano network capability. This announcement come after the investment platform Robinhood listed ADA. So for developers, the upgrade offer an opportunity to build better decentralized application via the ADA ecosystem. It seems that the developer do not plan to wait until the final upgrade before they begin. So this actually, I mean, this is actually the main point, the cheaper transaction and increase in Cardano network. So if you look at this Cardano roadmap right now, we are looking into this bar show, bear show era. So this will be the next era. This will be part of the next roadmap right now for era, which we talk about scaling. So when it scales, the more it scales, you know, the cheaper transaction and you're going to be faster transactions. And you can see there will be more debts and more things that will be coming in. Who knows the stable coin for ADA, DJET or other stable coins might also come in into ADA ecosystem to create one whole best ecosystem around ADA ecosystem. So of course, the last but not least will be the governance that one will take on later on where people can start to vote. Uh, and you can see, right, ADA has been, I would say, still new, still on the early stage where you can see it haven't even completed yet towards the governance era. So it was from Byron, Shelly, Go Green, and right now on Basho. So there will be the next one, which is the governance that will come in later. So you can see it has a very high potential for ADA to grow. And right now you can see even ADA is still on the scaling, which is on the part four, uh, which is the Basho era. If you look at coin market cap, you know, ADA is staying strong still on the top 10 even other competitors has already done all this but even cardano is not it haven't even completed uh, the last era it already into the top 10 uh, ranking in coin market cap so that's the reason why i think cardano has still a lot of high potential to grow towards in terms of ranking in terms of volume in terms of people accepting it, even developers coming in more and more to create their projects in an ecosystem. Okay, so Cardano is among the top three actively developed projects as Basil years. Mm -hmm. So you can see they are starting who have a lot of developers coming into this ADA ecosystem, which is a good thing where there is more projects that created inside ADA ecosystem, you will bring more users in and here people will start to know about Cardano uh, and why Cardano is so much advantageous compared to all the competitors. When you see that, then the hype will continue to go even higher and higher. So that's the reason why I think Cardano has a lot of room to grow. So you can see right here on the ADA chart, uh, you can see here, it surpassed this 48 cents resistance zone right here. So will it go even higher? I would say the psychology level will be still on the 50 cents area. So these two will be considering the major resistance zone 
in order for it to go up even higher and higher uh, towards 60 cents or even 70 cents or towards even one dollar which is possible it must first break through here first and then we talk about here and also here which is 54 and 59 59 which is 60 then all the way to one dollar okay it's pretty straightforward but whether ada managed to surpass this look at the daily chart let's go into the daily chart first so the daily chart it need to surpass this moving average line 50 you see that it's trying to break through this moving average line 50 and also this blue line that i've just drawn which is the 50 cents area if it managed to break through then you will have a bullish confirmation that it will surpass uh, will try to break this resistance, this 50, 55 cents area, and then this 60 cents area. Okay, so looking at the RSI, which is a good thing, you can see that it's very, very bullish right now. It surpassed the 50 area. So the 50 zone right now, right now, is staying around 55.2, which is a bullish zone. So anything to do with 50 to 70 is a bullish zone. You see the buyers will be coming in shortly to try to push even higher and higher okay so i would say ada has a lot of chance to grow but if you ask me where is the best time for you to buy is if you are a perpetual swap trader i would suggest you to wait for it to come down here this area 48 cents then you can do a buy then your stop loss can be put around this area and your TP can be either here or here. All right, or maybe here. If you're looking at long term, we can be here up to 60 cents. If you want to be more specifically, I would say this area, uh, 65 cents will be also here. So of course you need to do your risk management carefully. Why the reason why I want it to make a retracement because you know that this is actually a crucial level for ADA so if it fails to break through it will go even lower it might even go back into this uh, triangle so you need to be very very careful so the reason why I should put my stop loss here is because who knows later the cardinal just break all the way down in there and then do some uh hiccups here and there before it go back up nobody knows okay so if you want to get in as a perpetual swap trader get in here and then start to profit here here or there so you can see the risk management stop loss and your take profit your take profit is always higher ratio than your stop loss okay so i think that's all for today's episode if you like my episode today remember to click like share and subscribe gonna see you guys soon and